Hey, it's Justin from Transistor.fm. In today's case study, I'm going to be showing you how to do search engine optimization for your podcast. People find shows all sorts of different ways. Sometimes it's on Apple Podcasts and Spotify, which are also search engines in their own right, and sometimes it's on Google. So I'm going to be using the Pilot Project Podcast as a case study today. And from what I can tell, this is a show uh, for pilots, specifically pilots in the Royal Canadian Air Force. And um, my guess is that it would be interesting to folks who are, yeah, Air Force pilots, pilots in general, people who are curious about piloting, uh, people who are curious about uh, the Air Force, and so we're going to try to optimize this show so that people can find it on search engines. When it comes to podcast search engine optimization, there are two main factors that determine how you rank on search engines. The first is your text content. So what text and keywords are in your podcast title, podcast description, episode titles, headlines, and paragraphs on your podcast's website. And the second ranking factor is what websites are linking to or recommending your podcast. So for example, if an aviation magazine has a list on its website of the best aviation podcasts and they link to your podcast website, that would help boost your show, uh, your result in the rankings. The first thing to think about is how would people find a show like this on Google? So. To start, I typed in best podcast for pilots. We have best podcast for student pilots, best aviation podcasts, most popular aviation podcasts. So we can go ahead and search this right here. And already we're gonna get some ideas on, first of all, what kinds of podcasts are showing up here, recommended in Google, and then what kinds of results come up when you search for that term. Aviation podcasts seems to be the preferred keyword. And we could take a look at these lists and what they're recommending. Now, these are the kinds of guides and uh, links you'd be looking for. So on something like this, I might be looking for who wrote this. Um, this was Annie Vogel. I might be looking to contact them and say, hey, are you interested in updating this article um, and adding my show, The Pilot Project Podcast, to your list and then sending them um, your logo, a little description of the show. These kinds of guides um, can be really helpful for getting your show noticed. Uh, in this case, if someone was looking for best podcast for pilots, they would find this is the number one link. So getting on a list like this, um, is it's to your advantage to put in the work and actually try to connect with those folks and see if you can get on their guide. And there's a few of these here. We've got uh, this one right here. Again, figuring out who wrote this and then seeing if you can get on this list. Um, a lot of these folks are looking to update these posts, and so if you have something ha they haven't considered, and especially if your podcast is uh, in active production, they might be more willing to add your show to the list. So that's the first tip, is to get on lists like this. In the case of this podcast, there's a website uh, that you can link them to. And I would, pr I would recommend having them link to your website because it has all of the listening platforms that people can get to easily. But folks can also listen to the trailer right here, listen to episodes, see what you've done so far. Now that we've seen what kind of results we get for search terms like this, we can start to mod... We can also start to improve your description for your podcast and the website. Right now you have uh, this image right here and the alternate text for that image is the Pilot Project Podcast, which is great. But I would actually add that here as well. And then I would also um, change this description both on your website 
and in things like Apple Podcasts. Because we know that aviation and podcast is the preferred search term, I would want to add those terms to your description here on your website and on your podcast description that appears in Apple Podcasts, etc. So on your website, I would start with the name of the podcast again in text, just because you don't have it here. Uh, you have it up here in the logo, but I think having it right above the description would be good as well. So the Pilot Project Podcast. And then the other thing is to include the word aviation somewhere here. So maybe you could do it here. The best source for aviation stories and advice from the pilots of the RCAF. Uh, I'm not sure... If you can, I would actually expand this, uh, Royal Canadian Air Force. Um, if there's a legal reason you can't do that, uh, I guess you have to keep it the same. But in this case, I think uh, using the acronym is working against you. I, I would type out the whole, the whole thing, Royal Canadian Air Force. Uh, you're going to get more hits, more people searching for those terms. So having at least a little bit more here, the Pilot Project Podcast and the best source for aviation stories and advice from the pilots of the RCAF will help you a lot. Something like this uh, is how it would appear when people come to this page. Uh, again, you could even expand it. Generally, the more text you have that Google can match uh, for different search terms, the better. The other thing you're going to find with search engine optimization for podcasts is that episode titles matter a lot. and in this case, you have the episode number in the title. As a best practice, Apple Podcasts and other listening platforms encourage you not to put the episode number in the title. And the other reason it's a good idea not to is that it just doesn't give you as much space to put other keywords in the title that might show up in search results. For example, this episode here, um, you, you have... You don't have the word flight or pilot or aviation anywhere in this episode title. If you can fit it in, it could be something like aviation stories from, and I would even remove the names in the title just because they're not going to have as much meaning to people who are just browsing. And we really want to optimize these for people to be able to find these shows. And here's what I mean when I say that the actual listening apps are also search engines. So just like people might be searching for podcasts for pilots or aviation podcasts in Google, they might also just be opening up Spotify and doing the same thing, aviation podcast. And you'll find that these search engines like on Spotify and Apple podcasts, Google podcasts, they're not incredibly sophisticated and generally, they're just matching the keyword to whatever is the title of the podcast or the title of the episode. And in your case, your show's not showing up at all here. Uh, if I put pilot, your show shows up, but your, your show is not showing up when we include the word aviation podcast. So... You may even want to, over here, add the word aviation. You may want to break it up like this, the Pilot Project Aviation Podcast, just so that you get that keyword in there and make it more likely that people will find you on Spotify, but also in Google searches as well. So that's a simple uh, change that you can make in your settings that would make it more likely that people will find your show. I would also add uh, the word aviation somewhere here in your description. In this case, when we searched for pilot podcast, it's interesting to note that none of these recommended episodes really have anything to do with aviation. In this case, maybe they're talking about like a TV pilot. So I think aviation is definitely the more clear keyword or air force. That's another keyword that you don't seem to have the word Air Force in your title or your description. And if those are the kinds of listeners you want to attract, then you need to include that keyword both in your podcast title and your description. 
I think it's worthwhile opening up your iPhone every once in a while and just going to the different apps and then searching for uh, Air Force. So this is Apple Podcasts here. What happens when I look for Air Force? What shows show up? And almost all the time, it's <laughs> it's the, the podcasts that have the word Air Force uh, in the episode title or the podcast title. If we look up pilot, we're going to get, you know, some shows. It looks like your show is already showing up there, which is great. But again, if we look for aviation, your podcast isn't showing up for the keyword aviation. Podcast search engine optimization is really optimizing your podcast's title, the name of your show, the description, as well as the episode titles and episode descriptions here in the full description section. There are also specific tools built for search engine optimization like Ahrefs. It's pretty expensive, um, especially for podcasters, but I can, for example, go into the Keyword Explorer and I could go Aviation Podcast. And I can search, and it's going to give me all of the, the keyword difficulty, the top ranking result, other topics like aviation podcasts, other keyword ideas. So, aviation podcast, best aviation podcast, aviation careers podcast. And using these kinds of tools, you can start to build yourself a list of keywords. So, aviation podcast. Best Aviation Podcast, Podcasts for Pilots, Best Podcasts for Pilots, Air Force Podcast, Canadian Air Force Podcast. So start to write out keywords that people are actually using to search for podcasts like yours. You can also get ideas just, again, by searching on Aviation Podcasts and then just seeing what else Google suggests here? Aviation Podcast Reddit, that's interesting. Maybe if you post it on Reddit. So here in the flying subreddit, there is uh, an old thread. Looks like it's now closed, but these are the kinds of threads on Reddit that you might want to participate in. If this subreddit here is kind of the primary place where people are talking about aviation podcasts, then you may want to join the subreddit and then look for an opportunity to share your show the next time somebody asks for recommendations. It looks like there's even a subreddit for aviation podcasts. You can request to post and they may allow you to even just promote your show on this subreddit here. Another good tool for getting insights into what people are searching for or asking in terms of your topic is answerthepublic.com. And you could just put aviation podcasts here, and it's going to give you some visualizations on what kinds of terms people are searching, aviation podcast, Spotify. And again, your search, if you want to rank for these kinds of terms, you really need to have text on your website, in your podcast title, or in your podcast description that matches these things. So here on your website, one thing you could do is add a page, an about page. And then here you could just list out Spotify, Apple Podcasts. And what this will do is if anyone's looking for aviation podcast Spotify, we know that people are searching for that. This about page here might start to rank for that. So now if we refresh your website, you've got this description and then find this aviation podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts. So we're getting those keywords, aviation podcast. Again, I would also add Air Force somewhere in here. We really want to hit all of the right keywords here. And back to answer the public, if you scroll to the very bottom, they'll just give you tons of different keywords you can use. So aviation geeks podcast, aviation news podcast. So these are all words that you can add to your the list. And again, you want to work these keywords in to your website content, to your episode descriptions, 
to your titles and hopefully start to rank for these keywords. The other thing I would recommend is adding your website to Google Search Console. So I'll show you how to do it. We continue here. And we're going to add this HTML tag in the head section just to verify that we own this website right here, extra head content. This is under website and settings. So I'm just going to paste that in, save it. We'll verify this. So now it's verified. And this is a free tool provided by Google that will uh, help you to improve your search results. So if I go over here, I can show you, this is an old podcast that I have. It Google shows me what search terms people are using to find this podcast. And you can also track it over time. See your click-through rate, your average position. There's a, all sorts of things you can learn about this, but the, the key is to get it set up and then start tracking this data and start seeing if you, for example, start getting queries for these keywords here. You want people to start finding you when they say podcast for pilots or aviation podcasts. That should start to show up in your queries tab here. One more trick to show you. So I'm gonna open up Apple Podcasts here on my desktop and search for aviation. You know, these are the top aviation podcasts. You can also click on any of these shows. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see what other podcasts it recommends. That means Apple has data that whoever listens to this show is also listening to these shows here. And this can be a way of finding podcasts to do a uh, promo swap with. Like you can reach out to these shows and say, hey, what if I promote your show on my show and you promote my show on your show? Um, but it's also an opportunity for you to see what kinds of keywords they're using in their titles, their descriptions, um, and what's working for other people. So pilot to pilot aviation podcast, this is kind of what I was recommending that you do. Description with a number of keywords in there, flying commercially, flying for fun, aviation. And having words like pilot, aviation, those kinds of things in your episode titles also seems to be helpful. Having uh, reviews even where someone says best aviation podcast, this is uh, another way because we know that people are searching for best aviation podcast. So if you have a listener who's a fan and they're gonna leave you a review anyway, I would say, hey, if you could leave a review that says best aviation podcast on Apple Podcasts, that could help them uh, help others find the show as well especially if they're searching for best aviation podcast. And another tactic you may want to consider is YouTube, one of the most popular search engines in the world, aviation podcast. You can start posting clips or even full episodes on YouTube if you wanted to. Um, some people just do it like this with the thumbnail, so no video. But this is another way to get your show maybe found more often is to publish on YouTube. If you're on the professional plan or higher, you can also auto post your podcast to YouTube uh, in the same way that this person is here with just a thumbnail and these folks here. So something else to consider. That's all I have for you today. Uh, this is my first attempt at doing a tutorial on this. Uh, just as I was recording it, I realized there's actually a lot to uh, <laughs> unpack here. So feel free to ask me questions or even respond to this directly and, and let me know what other questions you have, what other things you might be able to do to optimize your podcast for search.